VR Church, gereja realitas virtual, didirikan lama sebelum pandemi terjadi. Over the year 2016, it's people started at 10. Um, in 2017, uh, more people showed up. Um, other people who identified with faith said, hey, I want to help out and volunteer. And so there was like this epiphany um, where we were like, oh, wait a minute, we have this. I think we're, we just planted a church. We started a church. We have all the functions of, of how you would think a physical church or how we would define physical church. We're expressing that here in the metaverse. Metaverse atau dunia meta menjadi tempat jemaat bertemu dan berinteraksi. Dari Fredericksburg, negara bagian Virginia, DJ Soto yang seorang pendeta bisa memimpin pengkajian agama dan doa. Berikut penjelasannya lewat avatarnya. I believe the future of the church is the metaverse. I think there's many reasons, but one of them is because it reaches people who can't physically go to church. Alina salah satunya, warga Olympia negara bagian Washington ini tak bisa keluar rumah karena gangguan syaraf. When you become chronically ill and you can no longer participate in what everybody else is doing slowly but surely, you know, people fall away. So it's been just he, him, myself, my husband and our cats. Um until I found Birch Reality Church. Keanggotaan VR Church pun bertambah selama pandemi. I gotta commend whoever set up this world. They have um, three-dimensional illustrations, so they set up verses all over, and they set up three-dimensional illustrations for the verses. Banyak tempat ibadah pun memanfaatkan mimbar daring untuk melanjutkan kegiatan keagamaan saat PPKM ketat berlaku. Pada pertengahan April, kegiatan keagamaan di Amerika Serikat sudah bisa dilakukan dengan tatap muka atau bahkan dalam kerumunan masa tanpa protokol kesehatan ketat. Misalnya kegiatan dalam rangka pekan suci bagi umat Kristiani menjelang hari Paskah. Lalu juga kegiatan Ramadan termasuk terawih dan iftar bersama untuk umat Islam di Amerika. Lalu dengan kembalinya kegiatan keagamaan ke rumah ibadah ini, apakah dunia virtual akan sepenuhnya ditinggalkan? Tidak demikian menurut penggiat realitas virtual lain, Evolver. So many congregations, and this is all denominations, religions, they think the building matters. They think that the church is the building, or the mosque is the building, or the temple is the building. It's the people. It's the stuff you do together. It's the way you change the world together that is the church or the temple or the mosque or the synagogue. And so we don't have that illusion. Banyak rumah ibadah pun hingga kini melanjutkan kegiatan online karena bisa menjangkau jemaat di berbagai kota bahkan negara. Bila pun kegiatan berjemaah bisa kembali dilakukan secara tatap muka. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.